And good morning people. Welcome back to Blue Reflection. Free time too. After a little bit of a story about how how we recruited Yuri. Nothing really for me to do in it except just let it play out. But, yes, we now have Yuri as a supporter. Which means we can make friends with her. She's in the science club room, exactly where she should, uh, she's normally, uh, normally is. Heck, from what I can gather, that's where she lives. And yes, yeah, Savant Syndrome, what she's been diagnosed with. It's a real thing. You could look it up. So yeah, let's uh, make friends with her. Let's build our bonds. Let's uh, see what uh, if we can help her understand her own emotions a little bit more. Aim for 700 rating points, we've already got that. Something tells me the maximum rating points in the game is going to be around a thousand. Just a guess. Coping with pet loss, where we need to defeat three crystals. So that's what the uh, deer like, or yeah, the deer like creatures are. They're called crystals. Or this type is called a crystal. Love, Confession, Jealousy, where we need to defeat a truster. And refuse to lose when we need to defeat two Executioner Expects. And as we're going along, we're just going to be able to defeat demons and find shards. Heck, with just those three, we should be able to do, uh, to do most of that. And I'm sure there's going to be one or two more that pop up. First up though, yes we are going to make friends with y uh, Yuri. Status wise, growth, we've got two points, which does give us a skill. I think I'm going to wait until we get one more. So I can build up Hinako to 20, where she'll get a skill as well. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be getting some support skills during the uh, during the next levels up. We also received use uh, Yuri's first fragment, "Color of the Void," increases all traits of a uh, target skill for a certain period of time. It's a support uh, or recovery type, so let's have a look and see what it does to something. Yeah, like an uplifting marsh. Does it actually change it? No. Okay. But it, if it's all traits, then it's probably going to increase all attack and attack defense, luck, and things like that. So putting it on something that does all and something I'm going to be using at the very start of a fight might be useful. I need to find something that I'm actually going to use at the start of a fight, though. You can probably see the shining spot as well, so we'll go and pick those up in a little bit. I actually need to find out where they are, apart from that one. Sarissa's contacting us. 
Actually, should I do that first? Yeah, let's go and get the uh, shining spots first. That way we can see all the uh, stuff for the table chat at the same time. So, I'm going to run around and pick up all those first. I'm going to start off in the science room. We're not going to speak to you, uh, Yuri just yet. And I'll work my way down. So, I will see you when I find some. Well, that second one didn't take too long. Third floor, the corridor next to the fire extinguisher. Apparently a new mission appeared on the first floor. True Dark Cave Master, where we had to f create some items and go and talk to them. 1B Special Class. I think well, since we're right here, we'll go and hand that one in. Just have a quick check in the nurse's office. Well, there's one of our things, um, but this person looks new, so I believe it's going to be her. Charm lipstick. Okay. Again, items aren't exactly... Um, too useful in this, but I might want to make use of them at some point. And as we entered the courtyard, seeking a finder, which is out on the school field. I was just there. Not you, you're normally there. You two are normally there. There you are. Don't you just say that? You've been searching for everything for... Uh, searching for the thing that you want for a while and it's only been in your pocket that entire time. Happened to me recently. Thought I'd lost my wallet. Back pocket. Took me 20 minutes to figure that out. Searched everywhere in the room. I'm sure everyone's had an experience of that. Rectifying powder and nullifying powder.
And finally, it looks like we got one right by the school gate. So, table chat is the place to be next. Good job it's not raining, otherwise I should be going inside to do this, but oh well. Let's start off with the bits that we've already got here. So, Sarissa. Good that these two are still looking to practice, and I'm sure that uh, there are a few movements that Hinako can still do, even with her injury that she's looking forward to practicing. She might not be able to do uh, them all, but she can do some. Sunny? Who's a little bit uh, worried about the curriculum going ahead, but we should be okay, but the fact that she's available to help out is a good thing. In what? Might be just a personal best, but heck, if it is, it's a record to her. Just got to keep on running. I'm completely the opposite there. Heat bothers me a lot. Cold doesn't. I'm way more comfortable in the autumn, um, in the late autumn, winter, early spring months than I am anywhere near summer. Fumio's still trying to stay up all night. Mm -hmm. Hinoku, you actually won't do that and you know it. Okay, so that's all the topics that they've sent us. Let's send some stuff our own ways. Hmm, this could get a... 
Yuzu a little angry. Yeah, got her a little angry there. Well, Hinaki did sort of start that, and now Shahori is going to be expecting it. And finally, Kiori and recommended games. For me, RPGs is the way, and, uh, well, Inoku's sort of new at this game thing. She still needs to find out what she likes. Kiori, I think, doesn't care about what she's playing. I think she's got a uh, broad array of uh, likes. Echo's Journey. Um, this did come up during the last part, um, in the middle of Yuri's uh, um, little story bit, but I decided not to show it. So. Not too sure which one it is. It might be just the uh, casting controversy. Hide and still, the uh, seek still hasn't changed, changed, the bear is still perched on its little ledge. I don't think we've got any more music. No. So, our free space is all sorted for the moment. Let's go talk to Yuri before we do anything else here. We also need to talk to the sisters. But that can wait until after Yuri. We can do that tomorrow.
Yeah, that's very true. Not to mention the fact that they're changing constantly. Yeah, it's mostly finding the connection and really just working with that. Can't have fun to, with people if you don't talk to them first. So we receive Yuri's second fragment. Something tells me the, her ones are going to, uh, in, yeah, increase. They're going to affect skills, uh, the abilities, a little bit more because she's put research into them. Maybe I'm not too sure why I'm thinking that. But question in spirit, increasing skills critical rate. Nothing wrong with that. So we've done a couple of missions. We've still got a few to go. But we've got to head now, we've got to sort of uh, hang out a little bit with someone and really there is no real question about who's first. Hello, Yuri. Oh, yeah. Well, this is the first place to take her. How smart she is, and how complex some of these machines can be, she must really enjoy that part of it. But being out in the public and the very concept of uh, going on them, that might be a little bit less. Or a little bit more daunting. So 
So lunch plans or study seriously. Nothing's really changed there, so let's study seriously. Not that they give me anything. Oh well. Nope, not yet. Ah, table chat's been updated. This is likely going to be Yuri, actually. No, Rika. Um, okay. <laughs> no, nothing from Yuri yet. Okay. Anyways, let's chat to the sisters. Doesn't mean that it's going to be special. All we need are fragments that help us in the long run. So where are we going to go next? Well, we actually need to go back to the rooftop. No, we don't because apparently it's not giving us any additional follow-up with Yuri. That's fair enough. We do have some additional follow up from Rin, I believe, actually. From the last time that we, uh, and just before the story bit with Yuri. So let's do that, shall we? Yeah, what to, uh, what to actually make for the cookie shop while keeping it safe and in the guidelines that are provided could be difficult. Um, how are either of these meant to make the feeling me to go up? This is just a sort of a uh, crapshoot. Apparently that was the right one. <laughs>
and we get a ring fragment. Ring fragment. Rin's fragment as well. Sweetheart. Supporter backup. Using skills discourages supporters from running away. Okay. I haven't had too much issue with uh, supporters running away yet. But then again, I haven't really checked on how their hit points are being affected by battle. So, something I might want to look into later, but really? If I can just use, uh, if I just use their abilities, they should be fine. Plus, I've got my own that I can deal with. Anyways, next time, we're going to go and do one of these missions. Um, no idea which one yet, but we will go and do one of them. And then we'll hang out and do another one and hang out and just continue on until all the missions are done. So we can move on to the next story, which, from what I've seen, in a little, in a little bit of a check is quite a significant part so until then have a wonderful day have lots of fun goodbye